Welcome to a presentation by Exact Education. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate a calibration procedure for a signal generator and measure the volts peak to peak and the frequency of the waveforms coming out of the signal generator. Our GWN stack signal generator is type GFG8015. It should have a peak-to-peak -peak amplitude of greater than 20 volts. We're measuring 20.6, that is within spec. It should have a frequency within 5% of the dial setting, which in this case is 1000 Hz. So that is a range of 1050 and down to 950 Hz. On our DS25, we're measuring a frequency of 993 this meter is 990 Hz and the RHMM17 is 1000 Hz. So that we are measuring within range. If we change it to a sine wave, then we still have a frequency of 993 on the DS25 and we've got the same frequencies of the digital multimeter again within specified range. If we change it to a square wave, we have frequency measured 993 on our DS25 scope and again these frequencies are the same at 1990 Hz. These three different pieces of test equipment do read very very similar values so that would give a confidence level that they are accurate. How do we know what accuracy we have on test equipment. They should have a calibration certificate. The only one that we can be sure about is the Rapid RHMM17, which is a new meter a couple of months old. The frequency measuring capability is determined of an accuracy of 1.5% plus 5 digits. At 1000 Hz, 1.5% 1 is plus or minus 15 Hz. 5 digits would give an uncertainty of another plus or minus 50 Hz. So it's given us an uncertainty of plus or minus 75 Hz. Unfortunately that is wider than the range of 1050 between 950. But given the fact that we've got three different test instruments measuring very very similar values that would give us a high confidence level that what we are measuring is accurate. So this box is calibrated within manufacturer's specification. If we change box to the same type of signal generator, got a different box and see what we're now measuring. So what we're doing here is we turn the dial down to 1000 Hz we go back onto a triangle wave. We've got 20.6 volts peak to peak. That's okay because that's greater than 20 for the amplitude. But this time we can see that we're measuring a lower frequency output. 936, 937, 930, 940. Again, these three pieces of equipment are reading very similar values which appear to be out with the expected range of 1050 and 950. So they are consistently reading below 950, which would indicate that this particular box is no longer within specification. If we change to a sine wave, again we get our peak to peak greater than 20 volts, 21.6, so that's within spec. However, the frequency output does appear to be out with spec below 950. We're reading consistently 940 Hz, so it's out with specification. Uh, if we change to a square wave, voltage amplitude is acceptable, greater than 20 volts. And but again, the frequency output doesn't change and it is below expectation. So we'd suggest that this box has is no longer within specification. Uh, 
due to component aging, environmental factors, heat and so on and it's no longer fit for purpose. The first box on the other hand was still within manufacturer's range. If we want to check rise time of signals of a square wave we can wind the horizontal time base down and we can use the cursors to measure the rise and fall times we use those cursors we can see that yeah we're measuring about 87 nanoseconds for the fall time which is within spec it has to be less than 100 if we change the trigger menu to go to trigger on rising edge and see if we have to move the cursors to there and we move that cursor to there yeah again the rise time is within specification it's less than a hundred nanoseconds so the summary of this calibration demonstration is we've measured the amplitude and output frequency of two different signal generator boxes this one is out of specification not fit for purpose the first one we did was still within specification thank you